So this is a uh, follow-up, brief follow-up. Um, I've been learning about lacquering. It's a relatively uh, new past couple of years experience uh, for me. And it's actually quite fascinating. So I'm just demonstrating now, I'm putting drops of a very thin lacquer solution uh, on each side of the hammer. Uh, this is four to one and I'm trying not to wick it up into the uh, actual strike point. I want it to be under the, the felt of the strike point. And I'm trying to put, I'm a little nervous because I'm on camera, I'm trying to put four drops. Uh, I, I've gone from seven in the tenor to now four to five, and I've done each side. And having the correct uh, bottle makes all the difference in the world. And I get these from Piano Tech. These are Ronson hammers. They use Weikert felt, so they're relatively soft. They have a good tone uh, right out of the box, very warm. But they're uh, for this particular piano, it's a four-ish. Uh, uh, 178. I want a little more sparkle, and uh, but I want to do that without getting a harsh sound. And uh, Mario Ingrich, in his great book, uh, has a demonstration or pictures of this uh, technique as well. The trick is try to keep it off of the actual strike point. That should make my voicing later uh, much easier. Also, thanks to Boaz Kirschenbaum for his uh, guidance, suggestions, and recommendations for lacquering. So you see, this is a different technique than um, the old uh, method of soaking hammers. And the primary reason for that is these are much better made hammers. Uh, they're cold pressed, so they have lots of tension, natural sort of tension across the crown. They're made with a very high quality felt. Um, so they don't need the kind of super saturation that uh, some of the uh, less interesting hammers of uh, bygone days need.